In this video, a hijack attempt by an off-duty pilot, a 737 ditching in the ocean, an A320 almost hitting a mountain, and an emergency due to loss of pressurization. Watch and listen to these real and scary air traffic control conversations. This Air China Airbus A320-214, flying from Hong Kong to Chengdu, was climbing out of runway 25 left when the pilots made a left turn going off the departure route and instead flying towards high mountains. The departure controller reacted quickly and instructed the pilots to turn immediately and expedite their climb. Listen to this. Air China 428, wind 140 degrees, 6 knots, runway 25 left, clear take off. Clear to take off, runway 25 left, runway 240. HNR 428, departure 123, death mic, HNR 428, departure identified, climb flight level 130. HNR 428, clear China Eastern 506, climb flat level 160. Climb into 160, China 506. Mm -hmm. China 48, turn right immediately. Turn right immediately. Heading 0, caution, heading 270. Turn ahead, expedite climb. China 428. China 48, expedite climb, turn ahead, turn alert. Expedite climb to 5,000 feet. Expedite. China 48. China 48, now uh, fly. Air China 428, Roger, expedite climb. Turn right, heading 270. 270, expedite climb. Clear jet air 877, maintain left for 130, traffic about. Air press 13, Joe, jet air 77. Air China 428, now fly, heading 210. Now fly, heading 210, turn the crew immediately turned right and increased the climb rate, reaching the minimum safe altitude about 75 seconds later. The aircraft rejoined the departure route and continued to Chengdu for a safe landing without further incident. This Rhodes Aviation Boeing 737-200 was a cargo plane flying from Honolulu to Kahului, a regional airport on the island of Maui. Just after taking off, the pilots reported they had lost an engine and might lose the other one as well. They tried to return to Honolulu but lost too much altitude and were forced to make the emergency landing in the ocean at about 1.30 a.m. local time. This is the conversation between the tower and the pilots. Express 810, runway right, cleared for takeoff. Runway right, clear for takeoff, Rose Express 810. Rose, uh, 810 will have emergency stop, but you are on the 220 heading. Rose Express 810, radar contact, fly heading of uh, 100 to Giant Vista 2, resume navigation. 820 has emergency, you're on the 220 heading, stand by. Rose Express 810. Radar contact, turn left, heading 090, join Victor 2, resume on navigation, climb and maintain 13,000, stay altitude. Okay, Rose 810, radio check, how do you reach? Rose Express 810, loud and clear, how do you hear? Turn left, heading 180. Okay, Rose 810, we've lost an engine, we are on the 220 heading. Now I say again, heading 240. Okay, 240 heading Rose 8. No, Rose 809, Rose 809, left 240. 240 now, Rose 809. Rose Express 810, you're uh, cleared visual approach runway 4 right, you can turn in towards the airport. Okay, Rose 810, we're gonna have to run a checklist if we can get a delay vector. Okay, heading and uh, just keep me advised and maintain uh, 2000 if that's the altitude you'd like. Okay, 2000 is good for now. We'll stay around 15 miles from the airport. And Rose Express 809, uh, can you make the turn back in now to the airport? Company's not coming in quite yet. Okay, we are coming back to the airport heading 360 now, Rose Express 809. Rose Express 809, you're still cleared for the visual approach to runway 4 right, runway 4 right, clear to land. 4 right, clear to land, Rose 809. And Rose Express 810, uh, when you get a chance, uh, can I get... Yeah, I, I, the nature of the emergency, I know you set an engine out, which one, uh, how many souls on board and fuel? 
Okay, all that is good. We'll give you all that in a little bit, a little bit roast light. Whenever you're ready. Express 810, hello, Tar. Yeah, we can take your tent to the right, uh, towards the airport. We're not ready to land yet, though. Rose Express 810, uh, flight heading is 250. 250, Rose 810. And Rose 810, we'd like to come to the airport now. Rose Express 810, Roger, confirm you still have the airport in sight. Turn right. Landing in this Thank you very much. Rose Express 810, turn right, heading 020, confirm you still have the airport in sight. Negative, we don't have the airport, Rose 810, 020. Rose Express 810, fly heading of 020, and would you like to intercept the localizer or do you want vectors? Uh, vectors straight to the airport. We might leave the other airport. 040. Uh, give me, say again, Rose 810. 040, heading Rose Express 810. And Rose Express 810, uh, is it two souls on board and also uh, how much fuel remaining? Uh, Rose 810, stand by. Okay, Rose 810, our situation we've lost number one in engine. And um, we're coming straight to the airport. We're going to need the fire department. There's a chance we're going to lose the other engine too. It's running very hot. And our uh, speed is um, we're pretty low on the speed. It doesn't look, out, look good out here. You might want to let the food go as well. And uh, we don't have any hazmat. And uh, fuel is about two hours of fuel. And Rose Express 810, how many people are on board? Uh, two of us. Rose Express 810, Roger. Do you have the airport in sight? Rose Express 810, do you have the airport in sight? Negative. And Rose Express 810, low altitude alert, uh, low altitude alert, are you able to climb at all? No, negative. Rose Express 810, roger, proceed direct to the airport and you are cleared to land any runway. We need a heading. Rose Express 810, heading 060. 060. Rose Express 810, the trucks are rolling. You want, you want to let the Coast Guard know as well? Say that again. Uh, can you let the Coast Guard know we're going mm -hmm. to maintain altitude? We will. Rose Express 810, the Coast Guard is on their way. Thank you very much, appreciate it. And Rose Express 810, if you want to land 8 right, uh, if you can get to the runway, any runway, you are clear to land. Rose Express 810, if you can get to runway 8 right or Kalailoa, do you want Kalailoa? I'd like the closest airport runway, please. Okay, the airport is three miles north of you, uh, of off your nine to ten o'clock. Can you get that road to Express 810? It's three uh, to your uh, left, about three miles northwest of you. Okay, give me a heading. Uh, road to Express 810. Uh, the airport is about a three one zero heading from you. Three one zero. Thank you. Rose Express 810, they may, the lights may need to be on 132.6, uh, they may be pilot controlled. Rose Express 810. Rose Express 810, Honolulu Tower. Oh, sorry, Chief 2. Chief 2, Honolulu Tower. I was trying to call you on ground, uh, it's ground out. Uh, no, I was kind of busy. Understand. Uh, do you have a status update on this aircraft? Uh, Chief 2, yeah, it looks like they went down in the water about two miles southeast of Kalailoa. Understand, two miles southeast of Kalailoa. The U.S. Coast Guard sent a helicopter, a rescue plane, a cutter, and a 45-foot boat to search for the pilots, and they were rescued about two miles south of Kalailoa. Both pilots survived. This Horizon Air Embraer 175, flying from Seattle to San Francisco, was cruising at 31,000 feet when the off-duty pilot sitting in the jump seat inside the cockpit suddenly tried to reach the engine fire handles, which would have shut both engines down. The guy was subdued and moved to the back of the plane, and this is the conversation between air traffic control and the pilots. Right,
Okay, I'll just uh, give you a heads up. We've got the uh, guy that tried to shut the engines down uh, out of the cockpit, um, and he uh, doesn't sound like he's causing any issue in the back right now. I, I think he's the dude. Other than that, uh, yeah, we want law enforcement as soon as we get on the ground and park. All right, there, 2059. Roger, you can contact that point on approach now on 118.1. And uh, point of approach is 2059, 1,600, uh, rather, 16,500 for 1,000, uh, information, Quebec. President, 2059, point approach, point number 2990, expect Island, runway 28th, left approach, to 7, maintain 8,000. Okay, down to 8,000, and ILS 3, left, thanks. Horizon 2059, turn right, heading 100. When you have a moment, what is your uh, gate that you're parking at? And do you need uh, local law enforcement to show up? Yes, we need law enforcement 100, and we don't know the gate yet. Horizon 2059, Roger. Uh, when, when you find out, let me know, please. Yes, we'll do. Horizon 2059, uh, what uh, is the threat level? The threat, le the threat is now in the back of the airplane, uh, so we're, we're reduced on the threat level. Uh, I'm, uh, we're going to check in with the flight attendant to make sure everything is running smoothly, but it seems like he settled down as soon as he, uh, after one moment of going uh, a little bit overboard, uh, we put him in the back. So. President 2059, Roger, just so we can uh, report this, what was the uh, highest level that uh, occurred? It escalated to a four uh, for his design, but he's out of the cockpit now. Roger, top y'all, horizon 2059, just going to maintain 6,000. Success now, she's in the net. Alright, she's in We're uh, eight, uh, out for uh, runway uh, 28 left. Right in 2059, Portland Tower Tech Parking Park, travel 737, with 3007, runway 28 left. Clear the way. Clear the way, Fred, she's in the And uh, I got some information to pass along when you're ready. Right in 2059, go ahead. Yeah, we've got the uh, occupant. He's uh, handcuffed and he's an ass back jump seat when law enforcement arrives. And uh, right now he's uh, staying calm. Sorry, and in 2015, I'd like to thank you all for along. The quick reaction of the captain and first officer kept the engines from failing and the plane landed safely and taxied to the gate. The off-duty pilot was later arrested and charged with 83 felony counts of attempted murder, 83 counts of reckless endangerment and one count of endangering an aircraft. An American Airlines Boeing 737-800 flying from Miami to New Orleans was about 120 miles northwest of Miami at 32,000 feet when the pilots declared mayday and initiated an emergency descent to 10,000 feet. Later, the pilots reported their intentions to return to Miami and reported loss of pressurization. Center American 329. Go ahead. Hey, can we uh, descend to flight level 320? American 329 approved, the center maintain, put up 320. Send a 320, American 329. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Aircraft, aircraft saying uh, mayday, 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 uh, I done. American 329, we'll just send to 10,000. American 329er, was that you, uh, saying Mayday? Aircraft on 128.22, aircraft calling 128.22, uh, saying Mayday, I didn't. And last heard was they were descending to 10,000, sounded like they had their mask on. Roger. Center American uh, 329, descending 10,000, we need to head back to Miami. American 329, Miami Center, Roger. The center maintained 10,000, 10,000. Miami altimeter 3005. Stay in tension. Hey, uh, we need to go to a 4 Myers American 329, descending 10,000. American 329, Roger. 324 Myers uh, International via right turn heading 050. It'll be a 230 heading initial turn. Alright, heading 230 initial, American 329. And uh, American 329, correction, right turn heading 050. Right turn 050. Right turn 050, American 329. American 329, what's, uh, if you want to have a chance, what seems to be the issue? 
Uh, we're losing pressurization, American 329. American 329, uh, roger. Center American 329, we'd like to go to Miami, the weather's better there. American 329, roger, clear to Miami International via right turn, fly heading of 110. Heading 110, American 329. American 329, when you have a chance, I have uh, a few questions for you when you have uh, your workload decreases. Copy, stand by. American, oh, 3 American 329. Are you able to take a frequency change? Say again for American 329. American 329, you contact Miami Center at 132.4, 324. 32 for American 329. Center American 329. American 329, Miami Center, Miami Altimeter 3005, you're clear direct to Miami International. 3005, American 329. American 329, when you're able, I can get your souls on board and your field remaining in time. Uh, 125 souls on board, we got 160 minutes of fuel, American uh, 129. 329. I got 329, Roger. Uh, say the souls on board one more time. I got the fuel. 125 souls on board. 125, Roger. American 329. American 329, go ahead. Yeah, American 329, uh, what kind of assistance do you guys need on the ground? Uh, we don't need assistance. Uh, we, uh, we would like to clear the runway uh, and uh, uh, then... Uh, taxi to the gate. We just lost our pressurization. They later landed safely and taxied to the gate. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, watch another one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.